Hello and welcome to Bladed Articles. Today for you guys I have got a Magnum by Boker. And this is a Magnum blue dot in silver by Boker. And the packaging is a nice gloss finished cardboard box. Well, cardboard slip. Nice and simple on there not much else and then inside you get the magnum tin nice matte finish nothing else bar the magnum by Boca embossed logo on it and the edges around the top there so really nice tin i'm liking it i'm liking it so in here so just gotta say I bought this quite a while ago and it hasn't seen a lot of action just because it's it's not for me so I'm just doing a review on it just for if people wanted to know how I've been dealing with it I suppose but it hasn't had a lot of action but it's it still had enough for me to not use it so without further ado I will just move this out of the way in the tin you get a nice fitted sponge insert and also in the tin you would get, by the knife, you would get a little bit of um, paper in there, little leaflet and also a little double ended, it looks like an allen key where it goes up into the, or down and like an L, L shaped and it's got two torques on that and that is for doing the thumb stud as you can see on there just tightening it up or removing it um, it's no good for doing these screws I tried and I failed so different size but anyway let's get to it so this is the magnum blue dot and it is coming in at 12.95 from knives and tools that isn't where I got it from and knives and tools are saying that they're getting some more stock in but not 100 sure on that i've got i got this from heine haynes and this was about i think it was a little bit cheaper i think it was like 11.95 maybe uh, but heine haynes do not sell it anymore and i can't find it anywhere else bar knives and tools so if you really did want one then those are the people to go to sorry about that it was a watch and we'll get straight on to it. The colour of the scales is, well, and the material is stainless steel with a slight brushed effect, as you can see, coming this way, ever so slight. That's on the show side and on the back side. And it is a frame lock, as you can see, but it's a frame lock with a detent system on there. And it's got some show gripping, I'd probably call it, because it's just for show it doesn't really grip a lot it's just as well, it's a little bit better than the smooth finish but apart from that it's it's not going to help anyone and the carry style is coming in on this side here so it will be tip down right hand only as you can see and i had an absolute nightmare getting these screws out so that's the clip and as you can see it is a rather deep carry got a little bit showing on the top there but not too much but I didn't like clips at this point in time and there's the screw and the other screw I actually had to force a bigger size into these to get them out because I will just show you quickly excuse my hands I have been working on a vehicle you can see all that blue stuff that's all the Loctite that was on there it was completely doused in it both of these and it was doused in them so much that it actually on this right hand side I don't know if you can see through that hole it was actually thread locked to the blade and it was an absolute nightmare getting those two out like I said, had to force a bigger size into it to get it out. But that wasn't the only thing. It was very stiff to open as well. 
I don't I didn't know if it was because of the detent system or because of the thread lock I slightly adjusted the pivot and it seems to be okay now it's still relatively hard to open because it is at detent and you initially have to pop it out of the ball joint as you can see there just in the middle and then it locks into place there like so so it, it is what it is and it only cost me like, under 15 quid so it, it annoyed me a little bit but other than that it's it is what it is and we'll go on to the steel now and this is coming in at 440a I haven't had a great deal with 440a but it seemed it seemed to be working all right when I got it I, I don't use it too much now probably used it for a couple of weeks when I got it but just fell out of love with it because it it's just not me it doesn't it's, it's very big I can't carry it in the UK and I just had issues from the start with it if I was if I'm honest and it's the opening action you really have to give it an initial shove whereas on obviously like slip joints or other style even like the um I've got a, I've got a shred even with the shred it, when you open it this this is a detent system detent frame lock system and it's nice you don't have to put in barely any effort to use it whereas this one it's it's just still really and it jump it jumps out and it's liable for catching which i have done just underneath there anyway on to the next step which is centering and i buggered this up playing around with the pivot and those screws so it is off to the right and i do believe it was it did come sorry off center i think it was to the left though when it came to me but it's nothing to worry about for me because it's not catching on anything and i don't really use it too much so again that is what it is but i will just show you a quick length and you are looking at full length with the blade open you're looking at ooh, 19 19 centimeters and then we'll just measure this and you're looking at on the cutting edge you're coming in at seven and a half centimeters and with it closed you are coming in yet I'll just get that point coming in at around there so 10.8 centimeters so it is quite a big quite a big one for a pocket carry especially for the UK I mean I can't can't carry that round obviously because of the lock and the blade again it's over three inches so well, like just like just over three inches so I wouldn't I wouldn't carry it around with me anyway just because I don't like it but that that's just my opinion anyway and I will just have a look at the screw sizes for you so you will need them on both sides as you can see and I think it is let's try that one So it must be I have mullered these by the way so they are going to be a bit loosey so you're looking at a T6 on one two there and then I think yeah so it's a t8 i'm pretty sure on the pivot yeah barely any movement on that so i'd go for a t8 on there 
on the pivot screw. As you can see. But on the blade itself, you get the Magnum by Boca logo on there. And just obviously the 440A notification and nothing else really in the way of a logo wise. And I'll just do a quick hair pop just to show you it is still sharp. So it's not taking off many, but it's still sharp. And like I said, I haven't used it a lot, but at least it comes out of the factory sharp. That's got, that's got that going for it anyway. And I'll just show you a quick size comparison. And I've got a Glock here. This is a Glock 81, as you can see. And a Bird, it's my user for work, hence why it's grubby. And also we'll have a look at Camillus Reverb, which is probably the closest I've got to the blade wise anyway. But yeah, overall, I'm not not a massive fan of it, hence why I don't use it. I've got other blades that I'd prefer to use. But, I mean, it came sharp. It's got that going for it. If it didn't have all those issues with the overuse of the Loctite and the stiff opening on the detent frame system, I think I'd like it a bit more. But I like the style, as in like... The way it looks that's why i bought it in the first place but i don't know how the steel is going to fare in the long run and to be honest it's going to slip out of my hands a lot as well because it's just just not grippy at all anyway there we have it thank you very much for watching and i will catch you on the next one stay safe stay happy